Hello, my name's Karen Phillip and I'm the director of the Caves Beach Early Learning Centre uh, in Newcastle, south of Newcastle. And I'm making this video uh, as a bit of a prelude to one that I will put up in a couple of weeks after our accreditation process. We've worked very closely with Centre Support and Matt and Val have been a really good help to us. We believe that we will get exceeding in all quality areas of our upcoming accreditation. However, what the outcome may actually be is anyone's guess. I've spoken to a lot of directors over the last 12 months about their accreditation process and many of them have been very distressed, quite affronted and grossly disappointed in the outcome of their accreditation. And I find that completely inappropriate. The whole accreditation process is done very, very badly and I think we all agree on that. But what I've found is that the, the accreditors are coming into centres believing that educators and directors are rather useless. And I find that completely offensive. I believe all of we educators do it for the right reasons. We are there in the best interest of the children and the families. We are there to support each other within our workplace. We are there to educate, care and protect our children. And I think we all do that brilliantly. It's hard work, really hard work. So you're not going to work in an industry that's so difficult for mediocre pay unless you are passionate about what you do. And I would really like to believe that we're good at what we do. And I believe from everyone that I have met within the industry that in fact we are good at what we do. The, the new NQS system has, has made it quite difficult for a lot of us to spend the quality time with the children, educating them that we want to. But that being said, it's a necessity, so that's what we need to do. But what I'm informing you of is I'm going to video most of our accreditation, which happens on uh, April the 11th, Friday, April the 11th, and I'm going to post that on site to let you know how the accreditors went with us. Now, I'm, it's not that I'm not looking forward to it, I'm in a way looking forward to it. But I've also put the department on notice that I'll also be looking at them and I will be vigilantly following them around and I'll be videoing them exactly what they do, where they go, what they say, what they ask. I really do hope that we get the exceeding level that we anticipate to get. But talking to a number of other directors whom I know run brilliant centres, some of them whom have got meeting and others working towards. So the whole process is flawed and I think we all agree with that. So let's just say that we're going to do our best and I will let you know what our outcome is as well. We probably won't know that for a number of weeks, but I certainly will let you know how we go. The one important thing that I would like to let all directors know is that they shouldn't be intimidated by these assessors and many assessors come in to intimidate, to have power and control. They seem to enjoy the fact that we're scared of them. Well, I'm not, and I'm hoping that my staff aren't. But what I have told them is if there's any question that you're asked, thank them for the question, and if you're a little bit unsure, just tell them, I'll get back to you with that. There is no need to ever answer it straight away. You don't have to, if they're there till five o'clock, as long as you answer them by five o'clock, you're fine. If they want to see something and you haven't got it straight away or you can't find it, that's okay too. I'll get back to you with that. So you can pop into the office, get it organised or do whatever it is you need to do. As long as they see it prior to them leaving, then you will tick the box. So I just want to impress on, on directors and educators not to make these assessors intimidate you. That isn't their role, but they do it so well. Their role is to assess you. If you believe that you're good at what you do, then you show them. Now, if you're doing something different to the centre down the road or the one up the road, that's okay. We do not need to do the same thing as everybody else. As long as we can explain to them the reason we're doing something and validly give them the reason why, then that is all we need to do. Look, we don't even give out information packs anymore. We email everything. Why do we do that? It works for us. We're reducing, recycling and reusing. So the fact is that we are sending things out by email. If someone doesn't have an email address, fine, we'll print it out for them. But pretty much everybody does these days. 
So if they say, where is your handbook? Where is your information? I'll just say, look on the computer, that's where it is. And we have decided that everyone is going to get their information in that format. They can't say we're wrong. Even if the assessor's 60 years old and doesn't even have her own email, doesn't matter. The fact is we've decided to do it for a legitimate and valid reason. And these are the sorts of things that we need to do. The other thing that Val has mentioned that they will challenge us on things such as, oh, there's a child that's just fallen down over there and no one saw them. You know, I'm going to mark you down on that. And you just say, no, I, actually, I did see them. I did. I saw them there. And I've spoken to the parent. And the parent wants us to allow so many seconds for them to get up and self-comfort, self-soothe before staff member goes over. And it's about the number of seconds that the parent has requested. So I'll just pop over now and make sure they're okay. But they are up and about. So as long as we can justify anything to the assessor, we're pretty safe. So make sure you do that. Don't, don't jump and react to what they're saying. If they do ask you a tricky question or they challenge you on something, thank them for that and then proactively respond to that, not react. As long as you give them a response, it's a positive response for the reasons that you choose, then you should be right. So I'll keep you informed how we go and hopefully I'll be able to post a video of the way the assessment went down so we will all, all be better informed because we sure as heck haven't been to date. We're all running blind here until the moment that they walk in our door. So I'm hoping to help my other fellow directors and childcare educators to take some of the fear away that we've all had instilled upon us. So, Next Friday, 11th of April, is our day, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.